But you see, this is the important thing to remember, is that if I had just been told, you know, there's, uh, if I, if somebody had just told me, spoiler-wise, if I had read, Toriel is a great character, she loves you very much, and you love her back, and it's a great character relation, that doesn't mean anything to me. That means literally nothing to me. That is just facts. It is not emotion. It is bloodless. It has no pulse. And describing it doesn't even do it justice in in terms of if I was to go into a big long paragraph. Because that's not the thing. That's not. It's not the description of it. It's the fact that the music and the gameplay and the buildup is all so wonderful. And you can sense in her face, in the pixels of her face, the love and the care the desperation and the loneliness all bubbles forth in this beautiful way and you feel so bad for her and then it just comes crashing home to you that she loves you and she gives you that hug and she doesn't just she doesn't just hug you she holds it she holds that hug and then walks away that is human and that is real emotion god damn it and that is beautiful. And I love that. Even, let me put it this way. If the game ended right there, that would be beautiful. It wouldn't be very exciting. It wouldn't be very wonderful. But I really think some people undersell how, maybe I'm just, maybe I just love moms. But that always gets to me. I'm sentimental that way. Beautiful. And now, we come to the flower of time. Bring it on. I want to see you again. Flowery, I want to see your face. Come back to me. Grow. Grow from the seed of hatred that is planted in my heart. Interesting. That's a little concerning. Flowery isn't here. Interesting. Now, why is that? That is a very interesting thing. Huh. That's a twist. That's a big twist. Is Flowery really dead? Did we uh, erase Flowery from the multiversal save files? Because Flowery was an was fucking crazy. That that thing, that thing must have died. And I hope it remains dead. Because if it's not, Undertale. By Toby Fox, of course. And a variety of other crew of multinational shit and stuff. You know, wonderful. Good to go fascinating all right so we've left the ruins for brighter pastures there's a camera hidden in the bushes okay never mind maybe not brighter pastures immediately from leaving my mom's house we got perverts in the freaking bushes trying to catch a candid schnop schnop snapshot of me wonderful why is there a camera in the bushes i actually thought that was a boulder whatever let's stay on the path like the game says i should wonderful trees i love these trees all right, this part scared the fuck out of me last time. This is a really... I mean, listen to the soundtrack. It's so annoying. Ah, I don't like it. Okay, you're just walking along. Ooh, that's a really, really good use of foreground. Look at that. That was freaky. Oh my gosh. Did I step on it? That would be even freakier if you didn't step on it. It's like a time-traveling stick. What's going on? What's around? Something's moving, getting stalked. Oh my gosh, what is it? What's in the woods? Oh my, oh me, oh my. Oh, you saw a little glimpse of something. Oh, just keep running, it's right behind you. Turn around, blah, 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 blah. You can't get me. Hey, I'm in the trees now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have a stick. I have a stick and a Band-Aid. You cannot touch me. You are short and squat and easily punchable. You're getting in my range human I will show you the world <laughs> punch 
Uh, human, yes. Sorry, I'm, I'm done stopping time. Hello. Don't look at me. Ugh. It's extended its massive... flatulence. Let's see, what voice should I give Sans? I mean, obviously, uh, everyone wants to kind of talk like this, kind of talk like, uh, you know, dumb guy. But I know you're smarter than that, Sans. Unlike your <laughs> wonderful brother, uh, you actually have a, quite a bit of brains hidden behind those ghastly eyes. So I'm going to give you a more cunning voice because there's some malignancy in there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't trust you, Pyramid Nose. Not even a slightest bit. That's what we should really call you. Designate you Pyramid Nose, because you are intimidating as fuck. Goodness. Okay, let's see. Maybe I should give you a Queen Elizabeth kind of voice, like, Oh, the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. No, that was a horrible voice. Eliminate that from your memory. Let's see. Hmm, 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 hmm. I must ponder this for a moment. Ah, the old whoopee cushion! Oh, I should do a... Wait. Maybe I should do a cunning Frenchman voice. You know what? No. I'm just gonna go with this. This isn't a performance. This isn't performance theater. Let's just give my damn voice. Ha! The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Wait a second. Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said it too weird. Ugh. I'll just give you the worst accent I can imagine. Whatever, you're a human, right? I'm Sins. Sins the Skilton. Actually supposed to be on what we're human right now. But, uh, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Ugh, now my brother, sorry, I couldn't do that anymore. That was cancer liquid diarrhea of the throat. Now my brother Papyrus, he's human on fanatic. Hey, 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 he's him over, hey, I even, oh, yeah, get that. Yeah, I go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Hey, forced fastness. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Quick, behind that conveniently. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him like a dramatic superhero voice. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Thankfully, it matches my aesthetic perfectly. What is up, my brethren? You know what's up, brother? It's in eight days and no. Um, hmm, last time I gave him a more jaunty, oh, hello, it's, it's been eight days since, and you still haven't. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, the music is so perfect for, for frickin' Papyrus. Ah, uh, by the way, if I never acknowledged it, I do believe Papyrus' actual uniform is a reference to Earthbound, or Mother, if you dare, uh, say so. I think it's the Starman's, like, Uniform. He's got the same like badge on his chest. I've never played Mother. People have suggested that I will should and I will at some point, um, but not today because I have to deal with this. I have to deal with these two jokers. Um, hmm. I really should have planned out the accents a little bit better. You know what? In this continuity, everybody sounds like me. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You know what? I'm gonna give him a smooth voice. You haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really good. We want to take it out look. Now I don't have time for that. God, I don't know what to do. I'm so conflicted. I'm in the hell tornado of indecision for these voices. Because voices and voice acting is like my bread and butter. And I do so enjoy it. But I'm flying without any direction here. You know what? Stop worrying. The viewers will love you no matter what you do. And if they don't, you've already recorded everything. So it's okay. Okay. Um... No, I don't have time for that. No, what if a human comes through here? No, hold on. You know what? I know what I'm going to do. Here's exactly what I'm going to do for Papyrus. I need to talk with my teeth. That's exactly what needs to happen. I'm going to do the same for Sans because they have no lip movement. Why am I even trying to arrange my voice differently? It's all through teeth movement. They don't have lips. I should have recognized this ages ago. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be done. I must be done. You don't understand. I will capture a human. Then I, the great uh, Iris, God, that's hard to say, will get all the things I truly deserve. Respect, 
recognition. I will finally be able to dine the royal guard. She will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Hey, this I will help you. Sans, you are not helping you, lazy owns. Oh, you do it, sit and ogle, ogle. You get lazy and lazy every day. Oh, God, that's hurting my neck. Hey, take it easy. I got a ton of work done today. A scaly done. Giddy do. Sans. Oh, and you're driving. I am, uh, and I hate it. I hate I that I had convicted myself into doing this teeth thing. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Well, sounds like you're really working yourself. Hold on. Good do do I will attend to my hustles. As for your work, I put a little more uh, acrone into it. <laughs> Quite. That was really hard. <laughs> ah. Oh, that hurt. Because I'm like pulling... I'm like stretching the neck jostles. Oh. Alright, you can go out now. Oh my fucking god. You gotta get going. You got to act and he does. You look like you have to see hard that hilarious jokes. Oh no, no, look, that's not to be right. I've got dark in the cover, riddle, yelling, dark, wandering. Fuck me. I'm, I'm doing that horrible voice so that you will all miss my voice. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. I have to say relish like that. It is in my nature. Uh, 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 uh. Some bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish. Quite. Look at your dead eyes. Well, 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 well. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Fantastic. The other lamp was as... Why does a pixel? Why is this one? Actually, hey, I hate to other you. You keep on doing your dang old hair. What I'm doing with my mouth for uh, sands here, and I'm probably going to switch this up because this would just get too annoying. And Oh, man. The viewers would just start dropping like flies. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm putting my lips forward in like a kissy gesture, but I'm keeping them kind of like, like a horse. I'm keeping them straight of heart. So that I can talk like this. And I hurt in a thousand trying for it. Because I've just resigned myself. You know what? That's what it is. All of the monsters down here are southern. Because they all live under a mountain. In the south. As far south as you can go. Perfect. <sighs> hey, Tamali. Can you do the hair? I think him. I other than God damn lately. He's never seen a human in car. And saying you got your dick a day. do worry. He's no danger. Even if he tried to be. A dice of helium. Out of your head. Perfect. The convenience of that lamp still fills me with determination. Wow, that lamp. It filled my need. This is a box. You can put an item in and take it. Secretly box lover, indeed. I'm not denying that. Spurious. Run. I'm conflicted. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. But of course. It's attached to the end of a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me, here's my number. Snick. You decide not to call. Send the line back out. Reel it in, but of course. That's all attention into a photo weird-looking monster. Uh, I thought something might have uh, yeah, put the line back in there. Hopefully someone will call. Just because I don't like that monster's look doesn't mean other people won't. Okay. So, as I was saying about undying, this is also a challenge for me to see what words I can pronounce if I don't have my lips moving. This is really fucking hard. Yes, I'm a human. Yes, stop looking at me. Yes, I know my skin is very yellowed. Jaundiced, if you will. Sans, oh my god, is that a human? And it looks so familiar! <gasps> oh... Goodness. Oh, I think it looks familiar. 
Because it's a rock. Ew. Hey, what's right in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is that a human? Yes, oh my god! Science, I finally did it. And dying will give me. I'm gonna. Only show. Oh god. Ah, oh, you learn. Ah, oh, uh, ha, you learn. Ahem. you may not ask this area. I can't say. I can't say it. I, the great. Uh, I guess. Will stop you. And then capture you. And you will be delivered to the capital. Then, then. I, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> I like me, Neil. Don't say it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Keep the lights on. Uh, God. Oh, wow. I forgot how flamboyant you look. Get me out of here. There's some narration on this card. Really? Uh, narration? You observe. Wait, no. He's not actually saying it. This is written down so I can... You know, he's not actually... Nope. I know it's in Papyrus talk, but he's not actually saying it. I'm reading it off in his voice, so now I can use my lips. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could this built? Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman, period. Parentheses, etc. Absolutely no moving ever again. Ah! <sighs> Let's see. Um. Hmm. Crikey. Did something move? Or was it just my imagination? I can only see moving things, I dare say. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo! Is this the first time that... I'm sure, I'm sure Mr. Fox has taken... Oh, wait! Toby Fox, of course! My earlier reference to uh, the X-Files and Fox Mulder was relevant. Doggo, excited by movement. Hobbies. <sighs> Squirrels is not a hobby. Blah, blue. I remember what blue means. It's been a long time, but I do remember what blue means. Yeah. Yeah. Pull that dumb face, doggo. What? I've been pet? Pot, 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 no. There's no end to it. I'm here to drive you absolutely insane. Just like that other dog with his neck stretch. Well, this is thorough. <laughs> yes. If there's one thing I'm good with with my petting, it's thoroughness. Get out of here. 30 gold? Something pet me. Oh, wait, I'm trying to do an Australian accent, but it's hard because I want to keep going back into Southern. Why? I've been eating too much jambalaya. That's what's been happening. Got too much craw in my diet, if you do understand my meeting. Meeting? Meaning. Something isn't moving. I'm going to need some dog treats for this. I don't know what the heck's going on with my mouth today. Wake up. Hello? Is anybody there? Don't worry, people. Australians can't see you if you don't move. They've been especially trained. Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. That's what the voice should be. Like this. Like, kind of. Big guy. Is that you? Come on. Come on. And I know what big guy he's talking about. He's talking about the real big, 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 big dog. Well, it's not in the tall skeleton. He's too loud. <laughs> Quite. Whoever you are, knock it off. I'm enjoying this. Okay, now we're done. No, we're not. We're done when I freaking say we're done. 
I'm right here. Color blind, movement blind. Someone's been smoke smoking dog treats. <gasps> oh my god. He has glaucoma. No wonder he can't see me. His eyes are all kinds of messed up, and obviously he's been putting his dank stank in the dog treats so that the police skeleton will not come over and bust him for that and turn him over to the real royal guardsman. I am absolutely sure that Undying would cram her spear right through that J and hit you in the head. Head. I don't know. I got very confused there. That dog's high. Speaking of which, hello! Hi, hello, it's a greeting and also a state of your mental awareness. Hey, there's something important to remember. Oh wait, there's something happening here. I'm not doing this anymore. Don't move and it won't hurt you. Okay, I understand. Yes, okay. I got bored easily. Hello. Got it. Snowed in. And ice. Perfect. <gasps> Who dares? Who dares? Ice Cap, get out of here. You are the cheese head of all monsters. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world. You got it. <laughs> the world. Got it. Cannot move. Would you be so kind? Traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Of course, I'll take you to the lava land. Which part of you did I rip off? Your kidney? By I, I mean the piece that I gave you. Yes, I see we're identifying this now. <laughs> You're an organ donor, no doubt. Grrr. Chunks of me I'm ripping out of my ear. If I if I was to rip off part of me and flick it at the nearby person, at their back of the head, the back of the head of the nearest walking by person, my earwax, would they get mad? Depends. Really does. You never know. Some people, I mean, it might be their fetish. Speaking of fetishes...